Howdy folks, uh, welcome back to another episode. It's another solo adventure on a Thursday. Uh, so, uh, just me out, although Craig, if you've watched the Arnold video, you might recognise Craig. He's going to join me later on, he says, so we shall see when he turns up. But I'm going to do Sherwood and Mapley. Redos that I've done Sherwood and Mapley before. I've done every one of the pubs before that I'm going to do today. Uh, makes a nice little route, there's over 20 to do, so I'm going to get on with it. And my is going to be very friendly, community local. The Duke of Cambridge set aside on its own up the end of Mapley. And I'm going to head down to Carrington, up Sherwood, back round Mapley top. Jobs are good and lovely community local. This and one thing that I always found last time when I was here is the price of the meals and stuff is so. You can get some really decent meals and stuff in here for next to nothing. Really, an all day brunch, six pound ninety five. I mean, you can't go wrong with something like that, can you? Pretty standard stuff on the taps. Um, Feaston's XB coming on the uh, on the hample very soon. But a lovely looking little pub this is a. They've also made uh, it's, dog, it's dog friendly, it's dog running around. They've also made good use of the, uh, the sports bar uh, at the back, which used to be a function room, made into a sports bar, so pool table, dartboard, things like that there. Proper top welcoming always getting here. Really friendly place, really nice pub. Good start to my day. Well, that's probably one of the longer walks I'm gonna have today. It's 20, 22 minutes, give or take. But the good news of that walk is it's all downhill, unlike some of the bits in Sherwood I'm gonna be going up and down and all over the place. So my second stop of the day is the Grosvenor. Great big pub this is, uh, chain pub, decent place. Uh, they've done a lot of work on this over the years uh, to make it look very nice inside and then it actually is very nice inside now. Always friendly, always welcoming, always got stuff going on as well. Plenty of screens around inside for the sport. Decent place. Uh, car park though, whenever we have uh, flooding, I remember this car park that I'm in now was, uh, was completely under the cars floating through the car park. So yeah, not great on flood days. Good enough today, stop to the Grosvenor. Like in here, the money they've spent on here over the years uh, has made this pub really immaculate, really nice in here now. There's all really good stuff on the taps. Some guest tables and things on, which is always nice to see in Green King pubs. One of the Thatcher's tea bars, which I like, so I've gone for a, gone for a Thatcher's in here, because it breaks the, the stuff I drink up all day, which is nice. But the money they've spent on this place over the years does really, has really done wonders for it. Darborn and stuff around the corner. Pop people of all ages, this. Good for meals. Good for watching the sports, there's plenty of screens and stuff around. Really good boozer, really like it. Uh, about 250 yards up the road uh, towards Sherwood will bring you Turners. Uh, another very friendly locals type. Uh, this has been through landlord after landlord after landlord um, that, that I can remember. So not sure who to expect in today, but never, never had a bad drink in there, never, never seen the bad pub. So I don't really know why it has such a, a turnover, but yeah, it's uh, it's, a, it's definitely a local's pub. It always was. You do a little paint on the outlet, some uh, paint issues and stuff like that. But let's uh, let's go in and see how it is now. I was right. It has been through landlords and, and said since we've gone, but the original landlord that was here the first time we came, she's back. Yay! Uh, she's really good. She's lovely. So it's nice to see her back. Um, the guy had it in between has kind of run it into the ground a little bit, but they, they've been here back since February. It feels nice in there, it feels vibrant in it, it's family friendly. It's a nice locals pub, so they do really good trade during the daytime. You can watch the sport and stuff in it. It's a great little pub, it's a nice pub all round. It's got a pool table and stuff, plenty of forest uh, forest banners, so I'm happy anyway. Yeah, it's nice to see them back. I really hope that they pick it back up and do really well with this one. I've got a little soft spot for Turners, I really like it. It's, it's a nice place, I hope she does really well with it now she's back. So she certainly knows her stuff, she's a, she's a nice lady. Doesn't take any crap off people either, so we'd have cleaned that pub up no end, I'm sure, since February. Um, yeah, I really hope it, I really hope it does do well. Uh, not far towards the next one. Brings you to one of my favourite micro pubs of the area, Doctor's Orders, uh, run by lovely people again. This with a, with a great beer selection. So my fourth stop today, Doctor's Orders. A great little place for table service. Um, stuff. Board is up there. Let's zoom you in. You've got some good choices on the board. Also got a can fridge over there with some uh, really good choices. I can pick some out, uh, pick some real goodies out from there. Uh, I've gone with Shawnee Brewery's White Pan uh, for a half in here. But yeah, it's a top little micro pub, really friendly little place. White Pat's a really nice one as well, so it's nice to see that on the craft beer board. Uh, Zoom you out. There you go. Nice little place, and the uh, little bit more seating up on the on the side, and that's where he serves all the beers from. Good job. Now this next one is one of the most creatively named wine bars uh, I think we've found on the entire crawl so far. Bridget 
obviously, famous actress, uh, Anna Never Wine. Play on words, I really like it. So we're at the bottom of uh, the sort of the Sherwood Run now. Um, yeah, it's a lovely little wine bar, this. So while it's open, it's still early, but I would uh, definitely get in and include it. So it's stop. I know, I've lost count already. Ruggie Bordeaux next. It's a lovely example of a little wine bar. Great little wine shop. I'll show you that on the way out at the front. It's cosy, lovely little environment. A little bit seat into the back where that blue wall is way around there. It's a lovely little place. It's run by a lovely lady. Uh, the Rioja, house Rioja that I've got. Uh, six pounds, but oh, my word, one of the best Riocas I've had. Um, the lady's passionate and knowledgeable about her wines. Um, and the place is just lovely. So it's, uh, if you're looking for a date night type place around Sherwood, this is definitely the one to go for. Cheers. Just to have a look while we're in it. The wine selection in the wine shop on the front because it is extensive. And just look at some of these. Some of these absolute beautiful. I mean, I love French wine anyway. And basically, whatever you're from, <laughs> Romania, whatever the, the country of origin you want your wine from, in here, I bet you can find something to suit all palates. It is quite, even from England, look. Even from England. I mean, I don't think I've ever had English wine, but. Yeah, what a wonderful little place this is. On with me day. Start number five is hidden away down a back street. You have to, you have to go around the back of the, the main drag through Sherwood to catch this one, but honestly, it's well worth it. This is, this is a, a true, quiet back street pub where you can have a quiet pint of really, really good beer. Uh, absolutely loved it last time we were in. It's the Gladstone and it is a lovely looking little place but yeah look just set back on a back street and if you didn't know it was here you'd totally miss it. Luckily for you though I do know it's here. That's good. This is why it's actually like missing the, the back street pubs. It's not an option missing the back street pubs for me because you find some of the greatest pubs in the, in, in the entire country on the back streets uh, around little towns especially and this is this is right up there with the best of them. It really is. So you've got six hample of I've got for the uh, the open citra in here because I really like that. But some really top notch options up in it. And just an old school, that's the pub doggy. What a beautiful doggy. Lovely old school environment pub. If you want a quiet pint and a good beer. Honestly I can't stress enough that this is definitely one of those sort of places to come to. Just just wicked. Glad I didn't miss it. Was never gonna miss it. You shouldn't either. Okay, so it's only 200 yards further down the road into Sherwood from Bridget Bordeaux. Hello. The Crafty Teller, Craft Beer House. Uh, anything with the word crafty in usually floats by boat, as you know. So uh, we, I'm literally in Sherwood town itself now. Big run of pubs now in this space, all the way up to the Winchester. Uh, there's even one right at the top, two up the top, Jenkins and what's up Sherwood Manor up the top. So. Plenty going on in a very small area now. Looking forward to getting on with this. Crafty Teller is up next. So there's just too much choice and like, I want to drink everything, but I can't. The choice is in here. Three from Beaver Town. And you know my preferences are always non-neck oil ones. But equally could have gone with any of the Brixton ones. Some good stuff on at the back as well. Nothing on the hand pulls as it stands. But this is just a lovely, wicked little place though. Some good can choices and things as well, depending on what you want. Rustic vibe. Glad to see this doing well and still open. And yeah, nice gaff. I really like the Crafty Cellar, uh, and I'm glad to see that after it, yeah, it, it, it went through hard times, it closed down for a little while. It looks to be on the right path now. It looks to really be improving, so nice to see, because that was one that, yeah, it definitely could have been lost in the shuffle. Uh, and when, when stuff does close down, you never know if it's, if it's gonna get someone in who, who's gonna make it better or not. And, and yeah, whoever's come in there has definitely made that better than it was and it's doing well so good to see staff are good as well craft beer offering in there is, is pretty damn good so yeah very happy with that one uh next door this robin hood sunday roasts 12 till 6 it says outside proper classic oh so i mean this has been here as long as i can remember um and i've known this area for 20 and it was a it was an institution back then so been here for a long old time certainly ain't going anywhere is it so robin hood is stop seven or eight I think. Craig's on his way as well, the lad from the Arnold video. He's getting a bus, he's on his way, so just have a, a good rest of the day. I'm about a third of the way through my day at least. Have a good one. One of my favourite pubs to share with because it's, it's, it's a little bit of everything. It's got some, it's got... So you got that, you've got your drinkers here. You've got plenty of cider choices, no matter what you cider. Four choices on the Brixton. 
for who? It's just a, it's just a wicked set of choices, and these that I've never seen before either. On plenty of space in here, so it goes late. It has a disco and stuff on late. Um, it's an old school bar, a dog bar as well. Like, does a little bit, of, a little bit of everything. It's, it's been here for years and years. As long as I can remember, this has been thriving as one of one of Sherwood's real like late night haunts. Proper, proper decent boosters to go, and it still is. This ain't going anywhere. It's one, of, it's one of Sher certainly one of Sherwood's best late bars. But yeah, the choice is uh, yeah, just all round good egg. This I like it. I really like the Robinus. I really do. Look, Craig's here. Look, he's a wave. Hey, he's back. He got the bus down and everything just to meet me. Little old me. I know. Right, the Sherwood, uh, two doors down from the Robinus. Look, Craft Union branding. Look, that wasn't there the last time I was here. So apparently it's been taken over by Craft Union now. So hopefully, you know what? Craft Union do tend to improve pubs when they come in with them. You know what you're getting. It's going to be. Same sort of stuff, so I'm quite looking forward to being back in. So Sherwood up next. Yeah, it's still pretty much the same in here as it, as it was before, but yeah, I was down in the banner of Craft Union now, so you know exactly what you're getting on the taps. It's, it's friendly enough, it's got a pool table, watch all the sport and stuff in here. It's no frills, spit and sawdust, dog friendly, decent enough booze though, and, and the prices, the prices of all Craft Union are always so cheap. £2.20, half a Peroni, and what? £1.70? £1.70 for half a Stella. Can't go wrong with prices like that. Can't go wrong with Craft Union, really. Uh, to be honest, it does look like it's got busier since Craft Union have taken it on, uh, and it is, it is alright in there. So it is, Craft Union is what is, is what it is. You get exactly what it says on the tin, then every time. So can't go wrong with it. Uh, 100 yards. Down. The pillar box. Lovely looking little place. This rumor has it that the guy that runs this is the nephew of uh, the lady that plays Hyacinth Bouquet, uh, Patricia Routledge. Uh, up Craig's looking at me blankly like he wouldn't know what it is. A, a sitcom for those youngsters among you, they're called Keeping Up Appearances. She was called uh, Mrs. Bucket. That was how it was spelled, but she called herself Mrs. Bouquet. It was, it was a good sitcom, look it up on the old channels, you'll like it. But uh, rumour has it that uh, her nephew, Rowie, told me this, so it might be wrong, but I'm gonna go and find out. But uh, pillar box, up next. Confirm nor deny if uh, the uh, the landlord is Patricia Routledge's nephew, because he definitely isn't in it. Um, However, uh, there's a Grand Central IPA, and that's quite nice. So I've got one of them. Lovely little. Great old micro pub. Bit quirky decor, stuff like that. Can't go wrong, can you? Pillar box was, uh, I think, it was top 10. I've been kicked zigzagging across this road. We're going to stick on this side of the road. So we come across now to the Winchester. We're going to go for a nice cold pint, and we're going to wait for all of this to blow over. Sean of the Dead joke there for you. Uh, lovely bunny people. They're, they're really hot on their social media as well, this. So, very much looking forward to being back in this one. Do a lot of stuff uh, to, to make this better all the time, including those lovely looking garden pods. But yeah, this is run by, run by top people, and I've, uh, I've been very much looking forward to revisiting this for a while. It's a, it's a wicked little terrace bar, so I'll show you the outside in a minute, but yeah. How's on? They're really hot on their social media in here as well, which I was like, I was like watching their updates and things like that they do. Craig's got one of these serious pods. Have you ever even heard of that one? But you see it's pretty good. Three real hours and stuff on. Lovely little place and this wonderful, wonderful, wonderful little terrace bar out here. But in summer, it's just absolutely wicked for anything. Sitting out here, just just phenomenal. So, lovely little place. Really like this gaff. Glad to be back. Winchester is such a great little place, honestly, it really is. But, two spoons I've got to do today. And this is the first of the two. This is the Sherwood one. This is the Samuel Hall. Big old spoons this, to be fair. Um, and from what I remember, not too shabby, not a terrible place. Yeah, Samuel Hall. Uh, pretty sure, if memory serves me right, this used to be a screen or old theatre, something like that in Sherwood. Uh, part of, or joined on to the fire station. Maybe it's part of the fire station, I don't know. But yeah, decent enough spoons, sit on two floors. Spoons and spoons, can't wait to get a photo of the carpet. Not bad they laid out. Apparently that's a bus station next door, not a, uh, not a fire station, so. What do I know? Um, but, yeah, it's not a badly laid out spoons. It's two floors. You've walked all the way around up there. There's a bad. Carpet is, um, well, you make your own mind up on that. But as far as spoons go, yeah, it's not, um, it's not, one, of the, it's not one of the bad ones. Uh, first of two today, because I'm up, up to Mapley Top from here, obviously, so it's going to be a bit different up there. But that one's a lot more modern than this. This, this is a, an old historic building, whereas the other one was a purpose-built uh, middle of three pub fit, so. This is the historic of the two spoons of the day. So I'm about to tell you. The final one of this sort of little internal square of Sherwood, meaning one for us to do, is Craftworks. Or as you lot would say, probably say Craftworks. How you want to say it. Love the old building. Does a, a, a wealth of craft beer, which is right up my street, as we know. 
So very much looking forward to being back in here. New owners since the last time I was here, but it comes with high regard, highly recommended to me. So I'm very much looking forward to uh, getting back inside. Honestly, this is one of my like, this is one of my perfect type places. Just look at this, right, it's rustic, so it's like school dinner style seating, so everybody mixed in with each other. But it is, it's a wicked, wicked, wicked little place. With, yeah, zoom in on your beer, Bill. So, can't go wrong with stuff like that, can I? I've got with a liquid light, golden slumbers. And obviously I said, there's a wealth in it of cans and, and other stuff available. Uh, Lucy, I think she's the assistant manager or the manager or something. Yeah, she's very, very nice, very plausible. Um, wicked place. Great to see it so busy. Um, long may continue. Long may places like this continue to live and thrive because I love them. 15 minute walk up the hill takes you to furthest point of Sherwood Manor. We've got one on the other side of the road to do before we walk up the road to Map Sherwood Manor. So it's a Green King, but it's a Hungry Horse brand. We all know my thoughts on uh, set up now the set it cheap, pile it high kind of food that they do. But they, they, I mean, you can watch the sport in here. The beers aren't bad. They will definitely have decent beers and stuff on. So this and Jenkins, and then we're heading off up the hill to Mapley. Classic Green King, innit? So decent enough stuff on the tabs, you expect. Pool table, sport on, dart board, decent enough vibe. And everything else going in here. To be honest, I mean, they're not that bad. Honestly, they're not. Might not it might not even be a hungry horse anymore. It might just be a normal green king, to be fair, looking at it. Because it looks a lot smarter than. No, he's a hungry horse. It looks a lot smarter than most hungry horses, I say. Can't go wrong. Right, final one to do for uh, Sherwood uh, before we head out to Mavity Top Jenkins Bar. Lovely little place this is. Uh, again, micro pub style bars. More of a more of a date night cocktail bar type gaff than uh, a micro pub doing beer as such. But yeah, nice nice place. This will complete the Sherwood circuit before we head on up to Mapley Top to see what they've got to offer. Check in. It's, it's, it's proper date night vibes, isn't it? It's, it's very swanky in it. It's very nice. Um, it's table service. But yeah, if you want to come and sit and have a chilled out cocktail, wine, stuff like that, um, then this is the place for you. It's, it really is. It's very swanky. It's very nice. It's very it's, it's beautifully decked out, and you can't you can't say it. So yeah, date night vibe, definitely this end of town. This is this is your one to come to. Um, oh look, Guinness. So if you want a beer, you can have a beer. Yeah, nice gaff, nice people, nice gaff. Right, that was a climb. That hill isn't friendly, uh, but you know you get to Mapley Top within 15 minutes of walking out that hill. You can get to, you can get to Mapley Top quite easily. So we're on it. There's a little run of three just here, including the plains. Mm. Uh, they need to sort that out, I don't know, but the, and we've gone Green King to Green King with uh, a little stop in between. Not Hungry Horse, proper Green King pub this. Big old pub, open mic night going on from what I hear. Um, so, yeah, I used to come in here quite often when I lived up on Mapley Top, so I'm quite looking forward to being in. I also watched Forrest batter Luton 4-1 in here, I think, one day, so. If only that was still the case. Plainsman's up next, though. It's up on Mapley Top now. I can find us in full swing. She's really, really good. She's got some talent. She's got some lungs on her. She's caught in here. Um, old classic Green King. And the rest is that. But you can't go wrong with Power Road, Big Old Gaff side there, said he always does well, it's always busy. Decent booter. Nice way to start off Mapley Top. So, so we're, in, we're in a little run of three on Mapley Top now, which uh, we, which is great after having had that walk up the hill. It's, it's nice to, uh, have reached them when we'd have to walk in. Wetherspoon's number two is the Woodfort Top. Uh, this is a much more, so it was purpose built years ago just uh, to, to become a Wetherspoon's. Uh, so nothing like Sammy Hall, which is obviously an old building. A bit different, but we'll fall top up next. Spoons number two. Um, yeah, it's a purpose built on it, so it, it feels a lot more modern, a lot more. Uh, so, <laughs> it is what it is. Um, it's not a. I mean, the carpet is. I'd say the carpet's better. I'd say the carpet's better than Samuel Hall, so you know, that's, uh, that's, that's an improvement, isn't it? The modern, modern, uh, modern vibe gives you a better carpet, at least. But yeah, toilets are on the ground floor in here as well, which is always a bonus in Wembley. I can't, I can't, I can't say too many bad things about it. So, uh, Punk IPA, so I'm happy enough with that. But yeah, but, uh, much more modern feel. 
in between the Plainsman and the Bread and Beer, which are, you are going to love, by the way. You are absolutely going to love the Bread and Beer when we get there in a bit. That's next. Um, yeah, it's Fire Spoons, guy. It's a good one. It's Fire Spoons. That's it. It's a much more modern spoons than the first one we did tonight. But it is, it is all right, isn't it? But this is, this is the pinnacle for me. This is the one of uh, Mappity Top that I always came. Bread and Beer, Castle Rock Pub. Proper, proper old school booze of this with great beers, just a good vibe in it. So, yeah, well impressed. Well, happy to be back at Brennan, but I haven't been here for a while, so I'm really pleased to be back in right now. I stand by what I say. I think this is Mapley's, uh, it's Mapley's penny point. Like, it's, it's the long established real ale craft beer, like old pub of the, pub of the, the town up here, of Mapley's on. And it is, it's, it's got a well honestly. So, we've got a uh, We've got this Love the Lost from Black Iris. But yeah, beautiful, beautiful looking gaffers. It's dog friendly. And it's just a, it's a nice old school pub. Proper old school Castle Rock pub with proper old school Castle Rock values, which is what I like about it, I think. I think. Um, yeah, this Love the Lost from Black Iris, they're a local brewery and they're, they're well thought of around here. And that, yeah, that Love the Lost, that's pretty nice. That's pretty good. Um, I love this place. If you're ever up anywhere near Mapley or Mapley Top, honestly, visit visit all the Castle Rock pubs. But yeah, visit visit Bread and Bath because you won't be disappointed. Oh, I did think we got three left to do. So I thought we got the the Blues Dog, uh, the Flower Shop, and Steve's Bar. Steve's Bar's all in darkness, absolutely shut. So come to that, which gives us two. Because the wine room next door, definitely not the wine room anymore. It has closed down. It's changed its Facebook name to something else, but no updates on when it's opening. So that one's done. Which, furthest point, we walked, what, three minutes? Not saying, not saying long. Blues Dog, wicked, wicked, wicked. Sound like, wicked, wicked, wicked. Wicked, li wicked little micro pub. Wicked little micro pub. Dog friendly place. Oh, yeah. yeah, top, top micro pub. Down the end of Mapley. Well worth doing. Looking forward to it back in. Just listen to the old flash up to do them. And I'm done. I'm going to find a kebab and go home. Yeah. I know, man, it's one of my favourite micro pubs in the area. Like, honestly, it's, it's, I've got a great beer selection. Friendly welcome. Some great stuff. Look at this. Look. Some of this. It's just a, it's a wicked little place. That, uh, that, uh, the one on the, uh, the right there should have a Blue Monkey uh, uh, beer thing on it. But, you know, uh, look, at, look at how handsome. Look at that. <laughs> look at that. Just... To, it, it's well worth the walk down. So it's not even that far down to walk. We're three minutes we walk from the main the main bars and stuff. Walk down to the end because you won't be disappointed by coming in. Here. Great little place. Love the Blues Dog. I think it's absolutely. It's, it's such a wicked little pub. Run by a lovely guy. Uh, so last stop, last stop of the night because Steve's is all in darkness and we can't work out why. So last stop of the night then is the old flash up because yeah, Copper's there, but it's not really a pub. So last flop, uh, last flop. Last stop of the night is the uh, is the old flower shop. Great little gaff. Uh, might be run by the same people that run the Gladstone as well, same family anyway. So, well, uh, well happy to be in. Last one, 20, I think that brings up. So, old flower shop it is. Final stop of the night. So, I love this place. It's really good food. It's a really nice little gaff, to be fair. Narrow place with some really good like food offerings, things like that. So, they've got little dining rooms off the back. I really like it. Staff are really friendly. Staff are really friendly, and it is, it's a really, it's this, honestly, it's a really nice little game. A weekend as well. They did a roaring trade. Serve a mean baby Guinness, so you know, we know how much I love a baby Guinness. Great on the taps, and things like that in here. Look, Jew, love a good Jew. So I was in Salt's uh, last, last weekend, I was in Salt's actual brewery. What a lovely little place it is. So final stop of the night, and we're having a baby Guinness. Final stop of the night is the old flower shop. Great little place, said massively busy at weekends. <laughs> Can't tell it down. Ah, in the absence of Steve's bar, uh, which is closed and we don't know why, when well, it's open until 12, that was show with a Mapley. So, that's all guys. That is actually watching. Uh, off to Manchester City Centre tomorrow. I'll see you then.